that one stopped me. Like, I dropped the PVC. So like, I dropped them there. I was like, oh, shit. And so slowly I picked them up one by one because I was already by the street. I couldn't leave them there because then they would have walked off, you know. So. Uh, did, did you think you lifted over your I did. Yeah. <coughs> he had. I took all the old line off of here, mm. and he had tape on here. So I used some uh, that glue remover because it had a bunch of sticky stuff. I don't know if it needs to be cleaned. I don't want the line to slip on that spool. So I, I don't know if you think it's still a little slick. I try to clean as much of it off of that as possible, but just to give you some information on that. Okay. Get the speed going and hit it with a uh, paper towel. Okay. <clears throat> Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a call of the whole team So that's 100 pound of the tight line? Yes Okay Alright I think that's what I put on the last LX that you did It was just straight up 100 pound. So you're saying You won't know until you cast it I think mm -hmm. it's okay, man and I mean, playing with it, I didn't feel much on it. Like, like with mine, you can feel that the bearings are, are they're there. Like I need to, you know it. But still, those are the reels that I was using at that casting event, and I was still getting like great yardage with them. Great for for a fisherman kind of deal, not. But uh, I, I know I need I need I need some upgrades on it if I want to hit that you know consistent six hundred yard plus or. Um, you know, in that area? Oh, dude, those guys got some of them got seven, eight hundred feet. Yeah, they were they were freaking. So, but I did learn that helicopter cast, and that one, I'm gonna I'm gonna practice it down. That one's gonna be for land based fishing. That that's gonna be phenomenal, phenomenal way to to, to cast for, you know, 600 foot plus all the time kind of deal. Well, it sounds like you're having fun with it, man, that's for sure. <laughs> well, all the way up until I messed up my back yesterday, but it wasn't from casting, it was from the PVCs, so, so I got to let those kind of heal up a little bit. So. These are those broken rods, bitch. Yep, yep. Yeah, the customer wants me to get some tips put on them, and he's just going to use them as is. Cause... Well, what a gaff. <laughs> make a gaff out of it. Well, no, the, you can use them for boat fishing and stuff like that, too, you know, slide line. You're not recording, are you? Yeah, I'm recording, but it's all right. Hey. Uh. No, we like to hear the truth, man. They, everybody likes to hear the truth. You ever eaten Tosechi, that Mexican restaurant on Weber? No. The two-foot-long taco and stuff like that? Whereabouts on Weber? It's on the right side in that shopping center next to where that concrete car is at. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, I know no, I've never have eaten there. And I've gone there for years and years. It's been a while since I've been over there, but we went and got a three foot long taco for me and Jeff. And, and I was like, halfway through, I was like, man, chicken don't have no flavor. He goes, I noticed that. Like, all you could taste was all the vegetables and everything else they put in there, but the, the meat didn't have no flavor. I was like, man, that Ooh. sucks. Three foot taco, dude. <laughs> no. And is that a homemade flour tortilla? Homemade flour tortilla, oh, too. Shit. Yes. Yeah. I mean, everything is on point. I'm eating their chato beans right now, and the chato beans are nice. But yeah, their their chicken lost its flavor. Did you clean this pool first? Or? Oh, shoot. I to try to leave it loose, maybe. Or... Oh, yeah, I could do that. No, it might end up gripping it. <laughs> <laughs> Could happen. Okay. Yeah. Well, that this knot's designed so that way, if you are loose, you hold any kind of pressure on it, it's going to tighten right back up. Right, right, right. So. Well, uh, just a precautionary. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. So, this is a Dorado LX Raptor. 
that he's brought in to have us pull up and he's using the 100 pound tight line hollow core braid and I'm gonna spool this bad boy up So how's the fishing been going? Man, I haven't gone. What? I haven't gone. Man, I've been doing the same thing. I haven't. To be honest. Mm -hmm. I can be like all other fishermen on live live right now. I haven't gone. Well, I, I remember, man, I can't wait to retire. I'm going to be going all the time. And then, man, I was like, like, and I was so jelly. I was like, man, but hey, you earned it, you know? Oh, man, I'm going to the ranch doing a lot of stuff over there. Traveling. No, oh, so you're just playing. Fishing's always going to be there, you know. That kind of stuff is sometimes a little priority, even, you know. But, you know, have a, I've had an opportunity. I just haven't. Mm. You see those casting videos? I've seen some of them. That's I've freaking. Seen some of them, man. That's, yeah, I learned that new cast. Well, it's not a new cast to them. They've been doing it a bit, but it was a new cast to me. And I like it. I like it a lot. Like, I'm. Um, I know once I figure out that formula of what where when I need to turn to burn, I'll probably I'll, I'll be putting some what yardage on right? for that right now. The HDX. Okay. okay. But uh, I'm gonna send my my reels in to get some big some better bearings and um, uh, the better mag on them because the MC that Abbott comes with is great for fishing, but not for super distance casting. It doesn't give you the, the leeway that you need for it, so. I'm gonna check it out. And any any one of the lines, the green, the blue, the gold, would have been awesome on this trail. Keep forgetting to zoom in. I wish I had a button here that I could just automatically make it happen, but. I mean, one of those phones, times you can just talk to it, save it, Right. Yeah. zoom in or something like that. Yeah. Bridges that you talk to, have you seen that? The refrigerators are doing that too. Yeah, yeah. Like, shoot. Flying cars are gonna be down the road. Like. You know, it's real. 2,500 yards out, please. <laughs> Yep, just for casting. 472 yards.
So that uh, and loop you put on there is that the same way you were doing that at the very beginning, or it's mm -hmm. the same way? Right? Same thing. It's just um, when I do it at the very beginning, it, the the loop catches your main line right. to make the, to make that uh, that knot for you. But now you just use it to tie in your line to the to your reel, and then you just tie a regular knot to attach it to your leader. Mm, oh, that blue? Probably would. You know, if I had to, that's what's good about this line is I can slice it back really well off and put it all the right way back in there into the next project and put it mm -hmm. on there just like that. That or, you know, put, put the blue or. Top shot of blue, maybe. Yeah, top shot of blue in there. That way, you know, at different times you can have different colors on it and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they that that they are they are doing that for sure. So, all right, guys, right there, beautiful, beautiful reel. Let's get that. Four hundred and seventy-two yards. Yep.